Now you can record your iOS screen without downloading any extra apps or connecting to the computer. You are Microsoft Technician, what is your name? Yes, my name is Shane and how can you talk to me like this, sir? How do I talk to you like this? What are you saying? If you, if you don't, I am the customer. I am the customer. I talk to you any way I want to talk to you. Okay? No, no, no. You shut up. Now it's just Don't be the Ben Shod. Oh. This video, how to record your iOS screen without downloading any apps like AirShoe or, or connecting to the computer and mirroring it to the computer. There are problems with those like mirroring to the computer, there is a lag unless you connect it and there are still some issues with connection issues and there's also issues with Especially AirShoe is like the most popular screen recording app there is for iOS and Apple doesn't allow that so about every month or so AirShoe's license get revoked so you have to re-download AirShoe and if you have a video on there that you have not saved to your phone storage then it's gone forever so that's it's it's a really it's not as reliable as you will probably want it to be. So iOS 11 is coming out on September the 19th on Tuesday and it comes out with a whole bunch of new things and a lot more better of system upgrades. And one of those features happens to be a screen recording. And now I know it's surprising. I thought it was pretty surprising too because they were discouraging screen recording apps, f the free ones, because it will make the ones that cost money less popular. But now they come here and provide their own free screen recording uh, software, kind of so screen recording functionality, which is also free and it's extremely convenient too. Right now, I am recording with the screen recorder, and as you can see, iOS 11 volume brightness and a bunch of other um, control center things you can do and notice that my screen mirroring I am not mirroring to anything so I'm not mirroring to a computer and I'm purely recording by from the Apple's new screen recording functionality so what you want to do first if you don't have iOS 11 you should be able to get it if you have a like at least two years recently the iOS device probably like iPhone 4 I think maybe you can get iOS 11 anything above that and not sure about probably iPad 3 and above but anyways I, I don't know about that subject because just go ahead search that up or you can go in general if you have a software update now I already updated this and I, the reason I have is because I was in the beta testing program now I've gotten out of it because there's no really no use now because I mean you do get the updates earlier but there can be bugs that can wipe out some a lot of data on your phone so iOS 11 so I am up to date and basically screen recording what you want to do once you downloaded and installed iOS 11 you can either search up control center or you can go to control center right here go to customize controls and then here there are a bunch of different controls you can add a uh, flashlight timer calculator camera screw recording stopwatch and lower power mode currently installed and all of these that I don't really use so they are not installed and notice right here low power mode right here is the low power mode low power mode I guess this changes oh not low power mode my bad screen recording right here I don't know why I was saying low power mode that has nothing to do with this video so here is screen recording I I didn't know you can move the order does that change here oh well that wow that change I guess like depends on 
your use rates of these uh, different functionalities, probably cameras, useful. Anyway, screen recording is right here. Just add it. If you don't want it anymore, remove it. And that has, it's great for if you want to record maybe a game like Brawl Stars or Clash Royale or you want to um, record your Safari, something you do, or you want to do a uh, demo for your YouTube maybe, or if you just want to like show a glitch or something that's not supposed to be happening. Anyways, anything you want to do screen recording without lag, that's the big thing. It all depends on how your phone performs. It's not, it has, there's no connection lag. If your phone lags, the screen recording is going to lag. If your phone runs smoothly, the recording is going to run smoothly. Sometimes it can mirror into a computer, there could be Wi-Fi issues, all sorts of stuff. So this is extremely convenient. All you have to do is swipe up, press that, and if you hold it down, as you can see, I am screen recording. There is the microphone audio, just turn it off, on and off. If you want to record your audio or not, and yeah, that's basically it. It's uh, yeah, it's really convenient. You should definitely use this if you have iOS 11. It's it's really great. No need to spend money for Screen Presso or I, I don't know the other ones. I mean, you can use Lonely Screen if you want a beer for free, but it's not that great. But yeah, you don't really need to mirror. Unless you want it to be on a bigger screen, or you want it to be live. If you want to be live, just mirror and then use OBS or something for streaming. But, yeah, this is not for streaming. This is for recording your phone, but it's really convenient. Just, all you need is iOS 11, which, once again, is coming out on the 12th. So, not that long left to wait. And that's going to wrap up this video. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.